Yo guys, what's up? Neil here. There is 10 minutes and 38 seconds left in the third period. The score is 1-1 between the Islanders and the Tampa Bay Lightning. It is, it is an elimination game potentially for the Islanders. So they need to, you know, they need to win this one. It's do or die. I'm going to watch the game here live. I'm filming myself, you know, reacting to it depending on, on what, uh, what happens. Uh, I'm cheering for the Islanders, although there are quite a bit of players on the Tampa Bay Lightning that I do like. So I'm not going to be devastated if, if uh, Tampa wins. Got the, oh, sorry, it's mirrored, <laughs> the uh, the Lightning jersey in the background. I'm going to put on the headphones so I can listen to the play-by-play. -play. Let's enjoy. So just during a commercial break here, what I've noticed in this game is even though it's low scoring, I mean, it's only 1-1 at this point, uh, it's been very good hockey, extremely good hockey. Usually low scoring games are pretty boring. I don't find this one to be boring at all. Uh, there's been lots of chances on both end. It, the intensity is is through the roof. Uh, obviously, it's an elimination game, so if it wasn't, then it would be pretty concerning for the Islanders. But uh, it's been great. I, I've really liked this game so far. Uh, Heaven with a big goal, uh, big hits all around the ice. There's been some scrums. Yeah, it's been a really enjoyable. It's been a really enjoyable um, game, and I think there's a bit of a rivalry building between these two teams that'll hopefully move on to the, to the uh, coming years, which is great. So I'm excited to see how this one plays out. Something in these playoffs that I've been really impressed with is Kucherov, not just because of his offensive talent, which everyone knows about, but he's been so physical in these first three series. It's been like super remarkable. I'm very impressed by Kucherov. He's been, maybe besides point, the best player for the Tampa Bay Lightning, maybe one of the best players entirely in, the, in this entire playoff. So he's been a real treat to, to watch, that's for sure. One of my favorite players out there, though, has to be Maroon. He's just... He's such a, I don't know, he's just such a goof, and he just, he's funny, he's, he, he makes jokes, and he's, you know, he's laughing on the ice and stuff, and he's he's physical, he's always in those scrums, so uh, every time Maroon's on the ice, I'm watching him. And obviously, I can't show you the game that I'm watching because it's copyrighted, so bit of an awkward video to make, but still, it's, uh, it's exciting. Exciting for me, maybe not for you, but uh, I'm having a good time watching this game. I love the, I love the chirpiness in this, in this game, we're about eight minutes uh, Vasilevsky made a save and there, you know, some conversations being had and I don't think it's about anyone's taxes. I think it's about, uh, I don't know, un un unspeakable names, words that I cannot say on this, <laughs> on this video. I'm actually really hoping that this game does not go to overtime. Not that I don't want to watch overtime. It's incredible. It's exciting, but it's currently 1120 here and, uh, I have to get up at seven. So <laughs> I kind of want to go to sleep. We've got about seven minutes and 40 seconds left. Pretty good pressure. Oh, sorry. <laughs> pretty good pressure by the uh, by the Islanders here. They just got a pretty decent shot on net. Vasilevsky made a decent save, but he, he fumbled it a little bit. So just a bit of excitement there. Oh, it was a redirect. That was an interesting tip. Clutterbuck actually, Clutterbuck actually put a stick up. He thought he scored. There's been some decent amount of pressure here by the Islanders in this game. It's been, uh, it's been maybe a bit unlike them. They're more of an opportunistic team. Defense comes first, offense comes second. Take your opportunities when you get them, but otherwise, uh, you know, play responsible. They've been still responsible this game, but I felt like they've had a little bit more liberties in the offensive end. They've been uh, showing off a little bit more of their skill, which has been great to see. Oh, 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 that was close. <laughs> Tampa almost scored. There's about five minutes and 30 seconds left in this game. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Do it, do it. Ah, oh, you missed the net. I think it was tip wide. Watching Barzal with the puck is just, is, is incredible. Uh, oh! Islanders are almost running a bit of a clinic here. Very impressive. Feed him, feed him, let it go. Do it, do it, he's right there. Three minutes, 30 seconds left. Goose, who do you want to win the game? Are you going for the Islanders? Goose is going for the Islanders. Cheering for the Islanders, Goose? You watching the game? Look there, look at the camera. Look. What about you, Greta? Who are you going for? You watching the game? She's following the puck. Look. Let's see, it's you. Well, she's watching the game. Look at her following the puck. <laughs> What's that, Greta? Two minutes, 30 seconds left. Greta, are you going to be good luck? 
Hmm? You gotta be good luck for the Islanders here. If the if the Tampa Bay Lightning score, all the Islanders fans are gonna be angry with you. Can you not bite my finger? I'll accept licks, but no bites. Hey. Look at this. Uh-oh, Sergachev has just gone down, I think, from a high stick. Oh, he's going to get called. There's a minute and 23 seconds left in this game. Tampa's going to go on a power play. That's tough. Tough break, Greta. He's still licking? Okay. Oh, it's going to be four minutes. Oh, uh, even if this does go to overtime. Dang. Got him pretty good, too. Bleeding from the lip. Maybe lost a tooth. I can't really tell. Here we go. Power play time. One minute, 20 seconds. Ooh, big save. She's getting a little antsy now. She get, you're nervous. I'm nervous, too. Oh, shh. Balls, that was close. 50 seconds left. Tampa, if you don't close this out in these four, in this, you know, four minute power play, there's three minutes and 20 seconds left. I don't know. Can't let you live this one down. This is, this is huge. That's it. We're going to overtime, unfortunately. I mean, fortunately and unfortunately, Tampa's still going to have two minutes and 37 seconds left in the power play. So when that period stopped, uh, I, I stopped my camera because I didn't want to record 15 minutes of nothing. And I forgot to hit record on my camera again. So we're about three minutes into the overtime. The power play is almost over by Tampa. Um, you didn't really, I did, I was talking to the camera because I thought it was on. I didn't really say much other than the, my picks of who's going to score for each team. I picked uh, Pajot for the Islanders and I picked Yanni Gord for Tampa. <gasps> what a move. Oh, oh, oh. Do it. Do, oh. <laughs> oh, nice pass. Oh, oh. What an unbelievable save by Vasilevsky. Wow. That was the chance right there. The Islanders, that was the chance. That was it. That play, well, if they don't, if they lose this game, that'll come back to haunt Barzal. Oh, for the love of God, will someone just end this thing already? I want to go to sleep. Man, kudos to these players having this much this much energy in the fourth period. That's almost over. Seven minutes left. Uh, but basically, just sitting here quietly watching this uh, since I started filming, and uh, it's been a great game. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, the 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 energy is intense. Oh, huge block! What a block by Lee! Unbelievable! A true character characteristic of a captain. Oh, wow! Another block. Oh, wow. The cycle game from Tampa is unbelievable right now. Oh, Kucherov just missed. Four minutes left. If they don't end it, if one of these teams doesn't end it by the end of this overtime, I'm going to have to go to bed, and I'm going to pause it on my computer, leave my computer on, and as soon as I wake up, I'll come back in here and uh, continue watching in er, until I have to go to work, basically. But uh, it's my only option. i got to go to sleep soon. Five seconds. Six Oh, wow. That was intense. That was a very intense ending to that overtime. Oh, now there's some, oh, there's some conversations. If there's going to be a fight, don't show the replay. I want to see the fight. All right. Well, that's the end of the first overtime and uh, it is Neil's bedtime. So I am done for tonight. I will pick this up tomorrow morning when I wake up and... See who wins. I'm going to pause this right now. See you soon. All right. It's a new day. I just woke up. I am very <laughs> tired. Uh, the background's probably going to look different because there's, I didn't even bother turning the lights on. There's light coming in the window. So I apologize if I look a little haggard, but uh, I'm definitely a little bit tired. I still have this pause from last night. Um, I did fast forward through the commercials in between the intermission, and we're about to start second OT here. So, uh, Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I gave the Islanders a couple of uh, compliments, I think, last night. But, uh, I mean, Tampa Bay has pretty much controlled this game offensively. Oh, here we go. Johnson's coming in. Dropped off to Sergeyev. Oh, it's Kucherov. 
Oh, good keep in. Oh, Shaq and Kirk coming in. Brie Ben. Oh. <laughs> oh, Kutrov first hit. Oh. Ugh. How did he not... How did that not go in? Okay, I'm awake now. I gotta see the replay on that. How did that not... It seems like he had a wide open net. Oh, it was right there. He was so close. Oh, it hit the, the post. <laughs> Kucherov. That was it. That was it. All right, just past the 10 minute mark in this one. Uh, I gotta go to work here in a little bit, so <laughs> I hope this ends soon. I'm gonna have to, I don't know, this video might be completely useless if they don't score here in, before this overtime's over. Uh-oh, here comes Kucherov. Nice drop pass. Oh, what a move. Oh, I missed the net. Uh oh, here comes a shot. Oh, he fanned. Oh, no. Two on one. Who is it? Lebert. Oh. No way. Oh, the fan by Shattenkirk. Oh, it was everybody who scored. I didn't see who made the pass. Oh my god, it was the fan shot from the point. I feel so bad for Shattenkirk. Tampa definitely outplayed uh, the Islanders in this game. Wow, I can't believe they actually won and forced a game six. I gotta rewind. I wanna rewind that actually. And I'm not gonna wait for a replay. They're just celebrating and stuff. Was it Lee? Oh, Vasovsky almost got that. Yeah, it was Lee. Wow. That's incredible. Oh, I feel so bad for Shattenkirk. Okay, now I'm just going to skip ahead and see the uh, actual replay here. Nice wheels by Lee. Sergachev kind of caught in between trying to catch him. And yeah, that was a bit of a flop by Sergachev as well. But maybe he didn't make the decision in time. Oh, my God. Varlamov, <laughs> look, Varlamov came right in and just dove. That's incredible. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> that, that's really cool. He takes off from his own net and goes all the way. That's amazing. Wow, okay, I'm definitely awake now, ready for work. That was, that was intense. I'm, I'm... I was cheering for the Islanders. I'm glad they won. I'm just glad it's over, to be honest. Like, I go to work now. So uh, I'll wrap this uh, video up here. If you want to see more videos like this, me doing reaction videos and watching games, uh, you know, just let me know, and I can make it happen. Thanks, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, it's going to be a very intense Game 6. I suspect that uh, Tampa is going to probably put the nail in the coffin on Game 6. But who knows? We'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you can hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Adios. Adios.